Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So in honor of it being Mermaid, this whole entire month, we are going to try to do a couple of mermaid tutorials. So I've seen a couple of requests for her. So we are going to draw Melody from Little Mermaid 2. Melody is Prince Eric's and Ariel's daughter. And if you haven't seen it, it's an amazing movie, but just to know that this is a cross between Ariel and Eric. It's fantastic how much she looks like both of them put together. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start all the way up here, here by making her face, and we're going to turn this into a three-quarter turn. So what I want to go ahead and do is just divide up her face, and I'm actually going to make her eye line go like this because she's looking up in this particular image. But after that, what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and place her eyes. So we're going to start from right where this corner is, we're going to go ahead and start rounding out her eye. And the reason why we're going to go ahead and bring this in, but her eye is going to be rounded upwards towards the bottom. So if we jump over to this one, if we round out this one, big round eyes, very similar to Eric's and Ariel's. And I'm gonna go ahead and round out the bottom of this eye and just wanna make it nice and big with a bit of a corner. Next, round it up. And then what we're gonna do to this one over here is I'm gonna bring down her nose ridge. You cut off the side of the eye, bring it outwards, and then bring her nose over here. And then I'm going to jump over here, give one little nostril over here, another one right here, and then her nose flap. And once again, this is her looking upwards, so that's when we're going to go ahead and draw the pupils going all the way up in the top left corners of each eye. Go ahead and give her her eyelid. Eyelid. And then this, she doesn't have very thick eyelashes because she still is a little girl so she has one good little solid eyelash right here and a solid eyelash line we'll do the same over here solid eyelash line and just go ahead and curve that upwards I want to go ahead and shape up her face a little bit more so once she is looking upwards so I'm gonna bring up her bring this in bring up her forehead very similar to Ariel's. What you're going to do is we're going to start underneath her nose, just come down just a little bit, and you're actually going to go ahead, bring up this, you're just going to round off the top lip, like she's singing, bring down this part, And you see I started to bring down this part right here, that's because it's going to be her teeth, but I'm just going to go ahead and start at the bottom of her lips, curve it upward, bring this in, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring down this bottom lip, curve it upward and attach to the corner, and then I'm going to go ahead and start making her smile. So it's just a row of, it's just like a white triangle, I mean right, white rectangle. And you're just going to curve it upwards. And then we're going to jump down and we're going to give her her bottom lip. And just connect to the bottom, to the corner. So we make this a little bit squarish and then connect to the corner. And then fill this in the inside of her mouth. Go ahead and shape up her face a little bit more so I can bring that alongside. So I'm bringing it, like see I'm giving a little bit of distance. So I'm bringing this over off to here. She has a very pointy chin. And then round it back up. And give her her ear off to the side. 
and let's get rid of some guidelines so we can see this a little bit better. When you get rid of the guidelines, it looks so much better because you can see how everything's falling into place. So let's go ahead and go back to her eyes and give her a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna put a shine here and a shine here and then I'm gonna make a pupil. Go ahead, color that in and she has blue eyes. And jump over her off the side and color in that pupil once again. She has very thick eyebrows like her dad. So you're gonna start from over here I'm gonna make a little, I'm gonna first bring down this straight line, bring this off to the side, and then jump back up and fill in that eyebrow. And then jump over here. So I start down with a straight line once again, bring it off all the way to the, the side of her forehead, and connect to this side. And we have her eyebrows, just fill them in. They're very thick. It does have similar hair to Ariel. So I'm gonna start, we're gonna go above her ear and right here is where her part is gonna begin. And it's gonna go outwards. And it starts to go this way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this part. And then we have this little part that goes in front of her ear. And this one will start to go this way. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump up just a little bit from here. Bring up this side. And curve it into here. And we're gonna break up these bangs just a little bit. So we have this one big section here. And I'm gonna jump behind it and give another little curl to that section. And jump on top of that and break up this part as well. And then from off to the side of her head, this just a little bit more down. And off to the side right here, I'm gonna bring down the other part of the lining. It's just a part of her ponytail. She is wearing a ponytail. So this is the other side, this is to signify the other side of her head that we cannot see. And I can color that in because she has dark black hair, just like Eric. And behind this big piece of bang, we're gonna go ahead and bring this backwards. So right here. From my part, I'm gonna make up another section and bring it all the way down to here. Now before we keep drawing the rest of her ponytail, we have to give her her neck because we don't want her to look like a floating head. So we're gonna jump down to this part of her chin, bring down her neck, back here just a little bit. We're gonna jump off to the side. We're gonna bring down this side of her neck. Now we can go ahead and give her her ponytail, which is just a green, it looks like a big green scrunchie. And give her that scrunchie, it's got two layers to it. I'm gonna square off her shoulders going like this. So one shoulder is going up, and one shoulder is going down. So let's start with this shoulder first. We're going to circle it down and then go right back up. And you're going to go ahead and jump off to the side from here. And for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this where we make a similar shape, looks like a long just long oval here and long oval here. I'm gonna bring out the area for where her hand is supposed to go. Bring this down just a little bit more. But this part should be overlapping. Her forearm should be overlapping her upper arm. Give a little bit more shape to it. 
and keep a nice pointy elbow and make sure this flows in with it and for her hand it's pretty easy because it's just like she's holding out her hand the side of her pinky we're just gonna draw her pinky and another finger and it's curved upwards So we're just seeing her pinky, her ring finger, and a little bit of her middle finger. Get rid of some guidelines. For the other side over here, this shoulder is kind of hiding in the back. Draw the top of her shirt right here. And this one is the other strap to her tank top. We're going to bring this in, a nice rounded off collar, this side as well, and it has like a little break. And that's when you can go ahead and get rid of this off to the side of her arm. And bring down this part of her shirt and it goes inward, up, and I'm gonna jump back to this part of her strap, go outwards, and then connect to here. I'm gonna go ahead and divide her shirt down the middle. Here at the top, you're gonna draw a small little green bow. It matches her ponytail holder. And go ahead and draw that little itty bitty bow. So you just start with a circle, flower out this way and flower out that way. The most important part of the whole movie is a seashell that uh, King Triton gives to her and she finds it eventually. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that seashell. You just curve upwards off to the side. I'm going to first make the entirety of the shell the whole shape and then I'm going to go ahead and divide it up and then you go to the bottom and just round out the bottom to make it more seashell-like. It's just not hanging out there. It's actually on a necklace, so I'm just gonna connect it here. Jump over here and connect it off to the side as well. So it's connected on her always. And there's just a button down the middle seat, this middle part. You can go ahead and draw this other side of her arm. So her arm is kind of tucked back behind here. So we can go ahead to show a little bit of her shoulder over here. Bring this down. We can start to create her forearm going outwards. Bring this outward. I'm gonna go underneath right here. Underneath the corner of the shirt, go underneath. And then we get to this part of her hand. And it's just going to go outwards, bring out the thumb part, bring that back in, and then bring this out like she's holding out her hand. I'm just going to go ahead and shape up the thumb area. And you can go ahead and divide these up into her fingers. That's off to the side and now we can finally finish off her ponytail. So starting from her scrunchie over here, you can bring out this piece of hair, curve it outwards and then the rest of her hair flows back behind her body. After that, Melody doesn't really show that too much midriff, so underneath this part of her pajama top, we're going to go ahead, go to the middle, and all to the side, and come right back, meet at the middle, and so we have the top of the fishtail, 
And if you divide that up, And then you just pretend to make the hips, bring it all the way down. And I'm actually going to curve it upwards, so I'm going to pretend that I'm going off the page. Up, go off the page and pretend that it's going back up. That's when I would go ahead and make the end of the tail. And I would make my fin, so I'm going to start on this part of the fin. Make that bottom. Go outwards. And connect back. So it just looks like a flower petal. So you could go up and over. And then that's when I can go back behind this one, behind this flower petal, and make another flower petal and circle back in. You can go ahead and divide up the fin. Divide up that one, and now I'm going to divide up this one. And there we go, there's how to, that's the quickest, easiest way that I could teach you guys on how to draw Melody from Little Mermaid 2. If you have not seen The Little Mermaid 2, um, it's been out for years, so maybe you can go and find it online somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where you could find it online, but hopefully you can find it. It's such a good movie, and yes! So leave in the comments down below if there's another mermaid character you guys would like to draw, unless you wanted to draw Baby Ariel or, I don't know, the merman from Gravity Falls, Mabel's boyfriend. <laughs> so yes, guys, leave in the comments down below, and I hope you all are participating in Mermaid. Have a wonderful day. Bye!